I listen to your tape and nigga, you ain't hot. I feel glorious, glorious. Got a chance to start again. I was born for this, born for this. It's who I am. I could have again. I made it through the darkest part of the night. And now I see the sunrise. Now I feel glorious, glorious. I feel glorious, glorious. Guys, what is going down? It's officially Monday morning. We're officially four weeks into the shred, which is the exact halfway. Ugh halfway point. Here is how my physique is looking. As you can see the line down there is starting to come through down into the second row of abs. The pouch has tightened up a lot this past week. Turning to this side here, obliques definitely still tightening up but yeah just mainly that like the front is definitely tightened up so much. Also I can tell this week my shoulders are really uh, capping off of my triceps a lot more. Wow I'm just like I'm actually quite Surprise looking in the mirror right now. I'm gonna chuck in a clip right here of our week one check-in before our first week, so four weeks ago, and you guys can actually see the physical difference between my two physiques. I'm gonna tense fully. This is the uh, the starting point, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here at Temple Gym, killing it, getting it done. Fucking crazy chest pump and arm pump at the moment. I kind of want to take my shirt off, but the gym's pretty full, don't want to be that guy. I used to not really care, but it's looking pretty damn crazy at the moment. This is where it happens, guys. This is where like my body starts to change every single day. I'm going to be, be getting tighter. I thought I might not see that day till uh, next week, but I don't know. Things just seem to be going very well right now. Touch wood, keep on it, keep that cardio up, and uh, keep on the diet, and everything will be looking good, man. I didn't actually like film the workout. These days, I've just kind of been getting in uh, and just making sure I just kill the workout. If the gym's not that busy, I'll set up shots and get shots of it. But today is Monday, Alvo. The gym's been really busy, so it's just a bit difficult setting up shots. As you guys can see, I'm wearing the new gym these stringers. These are going to be dropping uh, probably around December 10th for the Christmas drop, so that's pretty exciting as well. I haven't had the confidence to really like wear a stringer properly in quite some time. I feel like they kind of went out for a little bit, but I, t I tell you what, I made these gym seats ones just so clean and nice, cause if you're in good shape, you want to show off like your hard work, so it's definitely kind of where my head's at. You guys know I make shit that I want to wear myself. Round for the followers, Big Casper and Big Jordan. You won the gym seats $100 giveaway, yeah. was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, yeah. That's right, the man. So crazy to finally put like the face to the name. I mean, we've met before at an expo, but like when you're commenting and stuff, I never know because I get so many like messages, comments. So, oh, so Jordan. Many people, well. yeah, exactly. Once I meet people in person, I don't forget them. If you ever see me, like you guys weren't afraid to come up to me. In the gym. Yeah. I didn't look too intimidated at that. No, no, no. Yeah, if you guys ever see me, come up to me. Just come up to me. Running into some subscribers there, pretty cool. Shout out to those guys. On another note, me and Jim just bought this today, and I haven't had whey in a very long time, and I'm gonna try it out because I feel like every protein powder I have making me feel a bit like nauseous and shit afterwards. I remember that Optimum Nutrition was one that always. I I felt pretty good afterwards because it was very light from memory. Some people didn't like that. They thought it was tasted too light with water, but I just remember it was always good for like, just feeling light. I'll keep you guys updated and I'll let you know in the next shot if it makes me feel like crap because it is dairy and dairy's kind of like average for you. We're out here Monday night getting it done. Got that ginger beer, that diet ginger beer. So I just got my vlog up. I'm sorry that it was late, guys. Supposed to be up Sunday, got it up Monday. Guys, I feel like having a Beyblade battle. Where are the Beyblades, babe? In my oh, office. office. When in doubt, Beyblade yeah, it out. Yeah, Beyblade over here while I play my game. Yeah, Jim's playing SpongeBob over there. And getting the Beyblades. <laughs> it's like they're in a little case. Show them how much you've scratched up my fucking cake bowl. Oh, if you were going to say That was gifted your leg, to us. And I was like, well, oh, that too. That. Tell them what happened to your leg. I went out to coffee and I sat down. And under the table, there was a fucking screw poking out. And I full, like, sliced my leg along it. It was so painful. Yeah, and took off the top layers. It's heavy. Right, you guys ready for this shit? I don't know if they can even see it. Oh, I got a funny one. You ready? How people go to A and A, you gotta go to B and B. Beyblade. It's not as funny as it when I said that, Alex. It's alcohol. It's not as I can't take it back. Bye. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Let it rip. <laughs> oh my! Disappointing. Disappointing. Like. 
some orders have come through. It's always good whenever I put a vlog up, you guys order. So keep ordering. Freeze for 10 for 10% off. Your yeah, gym sees. <laughs> Shot Freezy, glad I could chip in for your mum's Christmas present. See, I read all my comments. I don't like that shit. So guys, my supplier has just finished the new gym sees track shorts, the new V2 track shorts. I don't even know what to call them. I don't even have a name for them yet, but fuck it. I'm gonna put them on screen. These right here, ladies and gentlemen, are the new V2 track shorts. Uh, help me come up with a name in the comments. This is gonna be dropping probably around December 10th along with the stringers. As you can see, it's not like a crazy thin stringer, like it's kind of got a bit more, I guess you could say class to it. And we've got a lot of length on it as well, because I know lots of stringers are so, the crops are so short on them. It's like short crops are coming back for t-shirts, but probably not for like a singlet. So if anything, it's like, I want to get more length on that. So that's how I design these stringers. And I don't know if you can see, I've just cut this. So there's a split up the side. You can't see it because it's all black. There's a split up the sides here, basically. But my suppliers have actually done that, like, legit on all the new stringers, which are going to be dropping in December for the December drop. So on that note there about the track shorts, I'm paying for them right now, the second half. Normally with my overseas suppliers, I pay 50% up front, and then he'll send me photos of how the stuff's looking when it's finished. And I'm like, yo, cool. Pay the, uh, the second half. So I'm about to do that right now. So get excited for the December drop. It's uh, Tuesday, done my cardio. What else have I done? We, we did a little photo shoot. We got some pictures of Gemma for Instagram. It was a good time. And uh, you know, I've been fucking Beyblading, bros. Had my meal, my egg whites meal. I'm continuing that meal for the rest of this red. Three egg holes with 150, no, 100 grams of. Did you just say three egg holes? Yeah, three egg holes. And then I've cut my oats down to 40 grams of oats worth 60 grams of blueberries. Because, yeah, you guys care about my diet. You probably don't care about my random Beyblade addiction. <laughs> guys, check this out. There's a fucking YouTube channel called Beyblade Geeks, and they're dedicated to battling Beyblades. I'm just getting completely sucked in here. Some of the Beyblades I've got, dude, check this shit out. <laughs> These are some epic Beyblade battles. What? How did you survive that? Over the sky? Oh, what? They definitely sound a bit more nerdy than me. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna, guys, we're gonna go and get some new Beyblades today. Before we do that, though, we've got some gym sees orders to pack. I'll do some shout outs. Actually, I don't know if they're presents. I'm sorry, but is this for real? 2012 Beyblade World Championships. This is the day where 25 Beyblade competitors. Whoa! Shit. No fucking way. We actually have a New Zealander in the semi-finals. Does anyone know this guy? Come on, New Zealand. Oh, that was a good- Oh! No! Absolutely heartbreaking for New Zealand. We're off to the post office to send some orders. We're off to the new Toys R Us here in Robina. I checked online and Toys R Us do stock Beyblades. We're gonna go you and have see. A problem. I, I just want like an epic like Long, uh, a longer rip cord and an epic arena, and maybe like five yeah, more Beyblades, so we can mix my, and match. You won't ruin my film, cake. Film, film no, you won't ruin my cake. Fucking holder. Where is it? You've scratched up my my arena, oh, yeah, my yeah, cake yeah. arena. Sounds like a naughty word. <laughs> I want you to stick it in my big cake arena. In my cake arena, ew. This place looks pretty fucking lit. Yes. Oh, look at it, dude. You can get like the massive packs. I think this is what I'm after. You little lame cunts, man. The Friesma is about to sc score these kids in some Beyblade. So guys, we figured it out. We're gonna get this $20 arena and then like customize so we get like better Beyblades. Guys, I just spent $90 on Beyblades. What, what are your thoughts on this, babe? It's totally fine feel like this could be an issue. I told you not to buy them. I was like, because they were on special and we ran out of the tomato basil ones. And I said to him, get two, and then if they're good, we can come back. And we know for next time that they're good. And I was like, well, if you, what if you don't like them? And you've got to buy 12 of them. And he's like, oh, well, I'll eat them anyway. I don't even care. These are the two flavors we got. This one, we got the egg fried. It's just not as good as the tomato basil. So we're going to take them all back at Coles. All right, guys, so shit, here we are at home. We got our Beyblade Arena. Only $22, so I don't know, that's pretty expensive, isn't it? All right, three, two, one, let it rip. Ow, my fucking kneecap. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Fuck, guys. That was... That pool went straight at me. All right, wow. Wow. So, guys, we're out here at Temple Gym, and it's Caitlin's birthday. Happy birthday. And yeah. look look at this, man. <laughs> look at that slither. <laughs> Felicity, did you organize this? I organized this. Wow. I'm, it uh, myself. Did you actually? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She oh, yes. <laughs> She's cake bless, yeah. You guys know I'm deep into my shred. I've been struggling today, but... It'll be rude not to have a thing. We've got Big Joe and uh, Jamal. Jamal, eh? Did it right? Cool. These guys are over from NZ. 
I mean, this guy had the Arnold Expo coming up for a train, so here we are getting it done. Good shoulder sesh. It's good. Proving that gym. He won the giveaway as well like, a couple months ago. I was just saying to him, I always like beat the giveaway when it's like, I don't know. It's cool though. What is that? When they ask for slivers, that's what happens when you ask for a slither. This is the treatment I get around here, guys. This is my piece of If you ask for a nice big salad, it would look like That's the back home Jim says done and dusted. was very good. Who likes my outfit? We're, uh, we've got double double denim with a bit of Jim C's band merch tea in there. Just got a couple of orders here today. Gonna take them to the post shop and then gonna have a deep chat with you guys in the next shop. Guys, we're driving to the post shop now and uh, it's late night at Pack Fair. Jim's working. I'm gonna get this vlog up for you guys, so I hope you thumbs up it. Guys, I gotta be honest with you all. These last few days have been really hard for me. Uh, I don't know what's happened, but I, like, I've just been really feeling the dieting and it's just been really kind of like punishing. Um, just been really exhausted, like doing my cardio in the morning and uh, then just doing the weight sessions to top it off on the kind of de deficit at the moment. These are kind of where my macros are sitting. Pretty much around 2,000 calories. So yeah, it's weird. Like I was just, just having a rough few days and my mentality has just been, I've been like looking towards the negative in a lot of things and it's been really Really, uh, I guess you could say unhealthy I've been going through a lot of kind of just just things in my head and I just sometimes like you guys know I could I mean if you followed me for a while you'll know I'm either one person or the other I'm either okay hang on there's just some police so yeah, I'll just put this down a little bit there's a version of me which is just so deep and thinks so hard about shit and then just like gets real depressed but then I feel like I'm like I figure out keys and like patterns and shit with life and then there's another side of me that just doesn't give a fuck it's just kind of stupid all the time and like it's happy but then I'm never as like I don't know clued up I guess you could say yeah these last few days I've just been kind of like in my head and just overthinking the shit out of everything and it really just hasn't helped uh, since I've been on this diet it's been just really hard so I just thought I'd share that with you guys I've been under the pump to get this video up so if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up I'm gonna end the vid here we'll see you guys on Sunday's vlog I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in as always make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the vlog I kind of pieced it together it was pretty rushed and I, I, I don't know I just felt like just these last few days like I said I just haven't been in the right headspace to really be getting vids out yeah, like I'll tell you about it but I, I need to get to the post shop I gotta, I gotta end the vlog but I'll see you guys on Sunday peace out enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you then on Sunday love you guys mm -hmm.